So I want to put my hand in the air and say. I made a mistake, I got it wrong, I made a blunder however you'd like to put it. So a few weeks ago on this channel I published a video which was about the best pedal system for beginner cyclists. And I was positioning the Wahoo speed plays not because I was getting paid by anybody or because I'm in bed with Wahoo, simply because I've used the speed plays pretty much since I was a beginner cyclist for 13 years and I was trying to convince everyone why I thought they were the best pedal system. And the mistake I made in that video was there was no real balance. I was very biased and I didn't really realize until after I'd published the video that I'd kind of left out that very important balancing point. What are the pros and cons like Neil Stanbury is about to go through? But with mistakes comes learnings or reminders in this instance and opportunities. There were a lot of people in that video I published talking about the SPDs, the mountain bike pedal system for beginners, which I didn't talk about because I've personally never used it, didn't have much experience with it. So I messaged Neil after the video and I said, everyone's talking about these SPDs. What do you reckon? He responded saying, they work, but they're a mountain bike pedal system for a reason. I responded saying, can we please make a video about it? So let's get into it. Mate, yes, upgraded, uh, sponsored rider now, sponsored <laughs> rider. Oh, you're a sellout too, I see Neil Stanbury, chapter two. I uh, got this for a steal. This is a chapter two Huru, their climbing bike from- What's a steal? Oh, it's not much, not much. I can't say for fear that my wife will hear this, uh, uh, but, but not much. It's had a custom paint job by Ben Wallace. It's an absolute beauty. In the sun looks very sparkly and, and, and fancy, mate. And you know I'm a fancy guy, so yeah. it's my kind of bike. It's a bit more generous in the geometry than the old machine and a little bit less harsh. The old BH is a rocket ship for racing, but I'm old now, I'm not racing anymore. So gone with something a bit softer and smoother, mate. So we'll have a, we'll have a rundown on this one on the other channel, on the RCA channel soon. Um, show you a bit more about why I picked it for the geometry and that kind of thing. Um, but yeah, great looking bike and very happy with, with the ride quality, really good. Nice, yeah. and you've got an SPD pedal on there. I've temporarily fitted an SPD pedal because I know you've been copping flack on this one, mate. Sleep, <laughs> sleepless nights. Yes. You've been lying awake sweating at 3 a.m. in the morning because of the internet trolls. <laughs> uh, because you did the video uh, about, about the, the pedal systems. You know, we, bike, yeah. yeah, which pedal system should a beginner choose? And we, we basically, both and I, both you and I agreed on speed plays. Dual sided entry, adjustable float, really easy to use. The engagement system is much easier to get in and out of. The adjustable tension cleat. There's a lot of positives for speed plays. A lot of people in the comments section were talking about SPDs. You know, why were these not included in your video? And um, you reached out to me because you've never used these. You've never no. really ridden a gravel bike or a mountain bike with SPDs. I've never seen any of my friends use them either. Well, it's because you, you hang around with cyclists, mate. <laughs> Not, not hikers, you know? <laughs> so therein lies the main advantage of an SPD pedal system. There's a couple of advantages. We'll, we'll run through these now. I've fitted an SPD compatible pedal here. This is actually an SQ Labs pedal because I didn't have an X, XT or, or Dior um, Shimano pedal floating around at the time. But this is a brand new one. Um, and this is an almost brand new uh, SPD cleat attached to a very dirty old mountain bike shoe of mine. So. Pros and cons, pros and cons. Uh, the engagement system is very much like speed play. You sort of just push down on them and they go in. So that's, that's positive. Dual sided. Dual sided, second positive. Yep, doesn't matter which side, you know, if the pedal's a bit off like that or a bit like that, it'll probably still go in. So you don't have to sort of flap, flap around at a set of lights trying to flip the thing over. They don't rotate one way or another. They just kind of sit there when you're clipping in. So a little bit easier from that regard. The big positive that people like about these is that you can walk around in them. Now, uh, I, I would suggest that we're in the business of riding bikes, Cameron, rather than walking around. So I don't take that as a massive positive. However, if you're a gravel rider, if you're obviously if you're mountain biking, that's a different thing because you, you've got to be getting off the bike and pushing it up super steep hills and this kind of stuff a lot of the time. You're walking around on rough ground, it's going to get dirt in it. Speed plays clog up like that. And Shimano, you know, and Look Keo systems are not that much better. They also clog up. So these are great because they don't clog up with gunk, right? But if you're not walking around on them, if you're riding a road bike and it's, you know, you're not putting your foot into sand and grit and mud and that kind of thing, you lose, like that, that's, that's kind of a non-issue for me. So I would take that one sort of mostly out of the equation. Dual sided entry, uh, easy to get in and out of, yes. The disengagement is quite easy. They have a lot of float. Now the downsides. The contact patch is very small. The cleat is, I don't know, the size of a 20 cent coin, right? And the shoes are often 
flexible because they're mountain bike shoes. They're not sort of, most of them aren't super rigid like a road shoe. So the shoe does tend to deform a bit and the small plate that's in there and the small contact patch of the cleat means that you can get hot spots. Now a lot of, there'll be a million people who reply to this video, I've been riding them for 10 years, I never get hot spots. Yeah, absolutely. Heaps of people don't get them, but heaps of people do as well. There is a predisposition towards focal pressure from these things, and that can lead to forefoot pain and hot, hot foots, hot foots, hot spots. So this is, you know, this is probably a slight negative from from my perspective. A speed plate cleat, the base plate is probably five times the surface area, which spreads the pressure over a larger surface area. So there is the propensity for hot foot. My biggest whinge, if you like, from a bike fitting standpoint, is the slop. And I'll see if I can demonstrate the slop for you now. Now, bear in mind, this pedal system and this cleat here are brand new, pretty much. There's no wear and tear at all with these. So when these are worn, they, this gets a lot worse. But this is a, a brand spanker and it rocks longitudinally along the long axis of the shoe. Now there's not a lot of rock, but that's probably about three degrees of tilt, which if your foot is, as you're applying force to the pedal, allowed to rotate like this, there's a bunch of biomechanical problems which can come from that. Not saying that they will, but for a lot of people, if the foot is floppy or sloppy on the pedal, you get, you get trouble from, from instability essentially. And that's why I wouldn't sort of include them as a, as a really good pedal system for a beginner. You get yeah. that from speed play as well though, after wear? You can get them from speed plays after a lot of wear, yes, yeah. So you've got to keep an eye, if you've got speed plays, keep them lubricated with a dry lube so that you don't chisel out the base plate that's on the shoe and, and hack into that and, and it gets unstable. Or use a protector plate, a stainless protector plate uh, to, to basically protect the, 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 the thing, the, the cleat retention system. So yeah, they, they can do it as well, um, especially when they're badly worn. It's one of those quirks with speed plays, but these things just do it no matter what, you know, even when they're brand new. And with a bit of wear on the bottom of the, the lip of the front of the cleat or something, the rock becomes pretty significant and it can actually lead to trouble for a lot of people. Lots so, of power as well, I've heard. Oh yeah, <laughs> 50 or 60 watts at <laughs> least in this, mate. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Uh, tough call, May, maybe, is, is the answer to yeah. that. But mo mostly the trouble will be instability and instability leads to a myriad of other potential small problems yeah so these are these are good as a as a beginner's pedal system but they for a road cyclist but i probably wouldn't choose them above speed place okay. for all of those reasons yeah